So I'm doing with Tailfeather, who've just done an amazing little live session for us of Domestic. That's a really cool track, guys. I really, really enjoyed that. It worked really nice in this room as well. Can you tell us a little bit about the track for us? Um, it's about someone being a bit of a dirty dog. <laughs> and us not really respecting that in some form, but I won't go too much into it, but I don't know. Shall I mention any names? <laughs> yeah, no, we don't want to make enemies for it, yeah. but it was a kind of, let's not do that too much, please. You've got to treat your girl right, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's always yeah. good. Put a plug there. Hard for people and all that shit. <laughs> so for people that haven't heard of you before, how would you describe your music in three words? Uh, binoculars, wizardry and alchemy. Ooh, that's very nice. That's very nice. And you guys are going to be playing very, very soon for Soon Festival. So what can we expect from a tail feather set? What can we expect? Um, lots of jumping around, I guess. Mm. We like to do that. Uh, we're big leg kickers. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the choreography. You've got very long legs, so that's going to be good. You can take out some of the crowd, are you? Yeah, that was the plan, really. <laughs> make up. Make up, make up, uh, and sequins. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we, we really want to take it properly back to the 70s. Uh, cat suits. Obligatory, of course. Yes. Yep. Live, live animals, we need live animals. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's always a win. Yeah. It's yeah. going to go in Giddy Who is it, a nice yes. little, little set, I like that. And Mother Nature was an amazing EP, I absolutely adored it, I thought it was great. How, how, what was it like, the writing and recording process like for you guys? It was quite, I mean, it took quite a while, didn't it? Because we're all in yeah. separate places, but I mean, as a recording, it, we worked really hard to try and get something, because we never did an EP before, so it was getting the songs all to match together, and the ones we liked. and. It was good. I mean, Corky missed the first recording, didn't you? He did, uh, yeah. yeah. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I won't there, go into There was some absinthe involved, anyway, I'll say that. <laughs> but he was there in spirit, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. To yeah. write this song itself, Mother Nature, that, I mean, we went through a bit of a lineup change at one point, and, um, and that was probably the first one that we wrote together as this new lineup, uh, the song itself. And, um, and it kind of marked a pretty dramatic shift rhythmically. And, um, so it was, uh, I mean, that song it kind of wrote itself, but then when you come to record it, these things are always a bit more tricky, you know. But, um, but it worked out in the end. I think we're, we're all pretty chuffed with the result. In session two, wasn't it? Because we did like, well you did, I missed the live takes and then we kind of had to go back several times to do overdubs. But Paul Norris, the yeah, producer, yeah. gotta give him a shout out because yeah. he did all our engineering, like he hooked us up and that guy can make stuff really loud. Yeah. Like, for Mother Nature, we wanted to have a record that was bigger than what we've ever done before. Yeah. So we had the kind of the floods at the start and stuff and then suddenly he lined up six toms in the main room and we're all playing toms, banging it and when that got mastered it was like Right, Box full of effects pedals too. I love coming out of the studio and you have to buy loads of new gear. Yeah, you use a load of stuff <laughs> we had to do it. Yeah, we had to go and get I the had stuff to just up. Just go cool. and buy it because you can't recreate it otherwise. <laughs> oh. yeah. Do you guys have similar music tastes in the band? Does that come nicely when you're kind of writing together or you know jamming? Do you all kind of have the same kind I mean, of taste? I loves King, but and the rest of us <laughs> aren't really into it. I'm a, that that is that is slander. Uh, he. <laughs> Paul is actually the Keen fan. Um, I, I, f I find myself more engrossed in the early Chris de Burr period. Um, you know, the, the bit where he was really rubbish. Yeah, that's, that's my favourite bit. <laughs> and you guys... So, sure, yeah, yeah. But generally we do have yeah. some interest, we do. don't we? And the thing is, we'll introduce each other to different bands. And it's never like, whatever we listen to, no one's really that pissed off, so... Right, no. I very rarely like the ones that Paul introduces us to. They're, they're normally they're normally the kind of you know 2000 indie sort of bland, yeah, unremarkable, <laughs> mostly. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've turned him on those though. <laughs> they're really good. And you guys have just been on tour as well. You've been doing a little tour like recently, and now you're at Soon. So how has it gone for you? You've been playing Bristol and places like that. It's been, yeah, very busy. The best thing is, no, it's like people you don't know. Yeah. Going to, like, we went to Stoke, didn't have a clue who was there or anything like that, and we played with a really good band, Red Spectre and Indigo, and Venue looked after us, but they just love old rock there. Yeah. And it was quality, because you've got all these, like, shabby clubs around it, and then this bit in the middle where people just go there. There's, <laughs> there was a van there with powered by witchcraft on the front <laughs> of it, you know, like... It was quality. So we've been having those experiences, same as Inverness. We met people from San Francisco, and yeah, yeah. that's what you take away with you afterwards, anyway. Yes, yeah, it's the people that you meet on the way, I think, that's what makes it worth it. And the pita breads. We've had a lot yeah, of pita yeah. given to us. Pitta. That's good. Can't go with a pita bread, can you? It's, it's always good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it your first time to Cardiff? As a band. As a band, yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. 
It's very nice. Very nice. I may as well say that, yeah. Been here Get in the past, uh, you know, separately but not all together. So. Well, a bit of fun. That's a really they good say. Very, very good fun. People. I've been a recreational user of uh, Cardiff's facilities for a number of years. I've come here on occasions. It's very nice. I like to see. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and what would you say is like a band highlight over 2016 if you had one yet that you thought this has really stood out to us? This moment right here. Yeah. Uh, I it probably came the other night actually. That London show. The London show was very, very, very busy, very good. Oh, and we went to Portugal um, earlier in the year, and that was really good, and did a festival out there, and we were received really well, and that was cool. So, yeah, yeah it's, um, um, it's been a very good year, actually, I would say, yeah. And have you got anything else coming up? Have you got any more gigs on the way? Any new music we can expect? We do have the end of the tour, which is coming up. Uh, Birmingham, Nottingham, and Stone Market, a lot of historic counties there. The last day. Yeah. 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 I'm particularly Ooh. excited to see the Eastbridge wind pump in Stone Market, uh, one of the only of its kind in the country, so excited for that. Uh, and then on to Guildford and then that's it, and then we'll probably take the rest of the year off, and then, but we'll, we'll write furiously of course. Yeah. We've got, we have got an album potentially getting recorded in February, so we've just that's got to, isn't it? We got to book an old early days. country house and just slug it out for a week, mm. I think. Very nice. That's but we've got a few ideas, we just haven't really had the time at the moment, but it's there. It's coming out, it's just watch this space. And if, finally guys, if you could form a super group with three other artists, old or new, dead or alive, who would you form with and what would you call yourselves? Ooh. Ooh, it is a spot one. Is it Kings? Uh, I, I think it would have to be Chris the Bear as lead singer. Uh, I, think, I, think, I don't think you can much improve on uh, on the rhythm section, we kind of, well, obviously you can, they're really good players, but you know, we're, we're decent enough. Backing singer, backing singer, I'd probably have Lorraine Kelly. Lorraine Kelly, um, and who's that woman that everyone hates, the blonde one? Katie Hopkins. <laughs> we'll put her in there, um, and we'll call ourselves the Marvelous Truffle Band. Oh, do you know what? That is perfect. I would buy tickets to that. I'm looking forward to that. So we'll watch out for Tail Feather and Katie Hopkins collab very, very soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm super excited for your set in Giddy Who, guys. I'm going to be there and say a little hello. And, uh, What's the name again? Giddy Who. Can you say it? Giddy Who. Giddy Who is where they're going. Giddy Who. <laughs> well, there. thank you for the live session as well, guys. It's fantastic. And best much. of luck for the future as well. It sounds really exciting. Thank, thank you very you much. Too. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm joined with Gwilym, who's working on the wristband exchange here at Soon. Can you tell us about your experience of Soon and what you like best about it? Um, best is just the atmosphere. It's just like it's kind of at its best, basically, for a weekend, which is just incredible. And then, um, yeah, and, it, and then obviously he finds bands that you just never thought you'd, you'd even consider going to see, but they're fantastic. Kind of thing. And, then, and what does Soon mean to you? Uh, it's basically my favourite weekend of the year, kind of thing. It's, it's just, it's, yeah, it's just incredible. It's kind of even when I was living outside of Cardiff, is the only thing I'd definitely be back for each year. So. Is there any bands that you'd like to see over soon if you can get away and go and see them? Um, Annie Glass today, hopefully, yeah. And then um, and last night I managed to see Penis, which is fantastic. Oh, this is kind of, yeah, yeah, they're brilliant. And, then, and have you worked at Soon before? Have you been to Soon Festival yeah. a few times? Um, it's my eighth year, I think, altogether. So it's kind of, yeah. And each year's kind of been better than the last one, which is always, yeah, the same. And then... So I'm doing with April, who is a artist from Canada. So how are you? You okay? I'm great. I'm loving it here so far. Have you been to catch any bands yet soon? I have. Um, I saw Vince James. I'm about to see Cuckoo, which I'm yeah. pretty excited about. And I saw Matt, um, I forget his last name. Matt, Matt Maltese, was it? Matt Maltese. He yes. was amazing. I played piano too, so it was Fantastic. like one of my favorites. Fantastic. And you're a musician yourself. So how would you describe your music in three words to us? Three words. Idiosyncratic, soulful, piano pop. That was Ooh, four. I like it though. The <laughs> pop at the end. It was really nice. Yeah. Really good. And you've got some gigs coming up soon, so where are you playing? Um, so Wednesday um, in Carleon, please excuse my Welsh accent, uh, Boleros at 8.30, and then Friday night at the Beer Keller here uh, in Cardiff from 6 to 8 p.m. So. And where can people listen to you online? Where can they catch you? Uh, so April Eileen, A-P-R-Y-L-L, Eileen, A-I-L-E-E-N, 
So aprileileen.com. Um, there's a pre-order actually happening Monday. So we're releasing the album officially November 25th, but you can basically catch some stuff online leading up to it. So okay, YouTube's gosh. probably the best right now. <laughs> the best one. How are you finding Cardiff? Is it your first time here? Have you been here a few times? No, this is my first time. I just got in last night. So this is, you know, I had my first drink. I think it was Guinness with um, Guinness with port. Ooh, they ooh. made me do a shot. That was, sounds interesting. It was very interesting. Very Apparently, interesting. it's a Cardiff thing. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried that, but I think I will now. I'll give that a give that a go. <laughs> Have you had a musical highlight from the whole of 2016 that you can remember that's really stood out to you? Oh, probably in Cannes um, in June. I went to Madame to the festival there and had a showcase on behalf of Canada Blast with uh, with Sima, and that was incredible. And actually, through that, that's how I met Horace Music, and so I'm distributing the album here. Um, with them starting well Monday so kind of that was a really exciting uh, time for me to come to Europe and play and I hope to come back and keep keep it going. Hey I'm Erin um, I am a student at Cardiff Uni and this weekend me and Emily are running the Soon is Sound Instagram story. We started coming to Soon so I came last year uh, with Cardiff Uni Student Media, who are also running it this year as well. We decided to make a magazine in three days, which was intense, but it was the best thing we ever did. Um, and it made me love Soon and love Cardiff even more. So yeah, loads of boss music, um, loads of fans from everywhere learning about Welsh music, loads of people learning Welsh, it's just all dead good. Um, this is my third year at Soon. I filmed in first year and then I interviewed people in second year and now we've got to do this which is incredible and I totally agree it's the best way to see like new live music that you haven't heard of in Cardiff. Thank you. 
So I'm joined with Annie Glass, who's just had a wonderful session there for us. Can you tell us a little bit about the song? Um, yeah, it's called Carry Out Keith, which means secret love. But it's all, I think it's not really about a person, it's just about, um, that I like shopping. You like shopping? Yeah. Everybody likes shopping. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm loving this attire, by the way, it's wonderful. Oh, well, especially nice. for soon. Oh, <laughs> Where is it from? Um, it's from Ghost. Ooh. But it's in the sale because Ghost is quite expensive, but it was like 20 million percent off. Oh, so that's good. That's like, so here it is for soon rocking it out. I like it. Very nice. <laughs> and you've just come off the stage from Soon Festival. Did you enjoy your set? I really did. Yeah. Um, it's quite dark, so I couldn't see if there were anyone. If there was anyone there, but I think I think it, I had quite a good crowd. So that was nice. You had a fantastic um, crowd. Yeah, it was fun. And it's it just it's usually quite a blur. I don't really remember that much. I only remember if something awful happens, and I don't think anything awful happens. So I think I got away with it. <laughs> It's all good, it's nice and nice. So you play Green Man this year as well. How did that go? That must have been a great set to be on. That was really good. Um, It's quite strange, again, because I haven't played a festival by myself. Also, it's in the daytime, so, like, sunlight is, like, quite... It throws you, because if you've always played, like, in dark venues, um, it's quite hard to do. But I was really nervous before, but it was a really good experience, and I had quite a good crowd as well, and that's always nice. And when you see a couple of people dancing, because people are scared to dance, but there was a couple in the middle, I was like... Stephen so as long as they were dancing I was okay it's a big thing yeah but I mean as a non-Welsh speaker it's really lovely to come and watch you play because I don't really understand what you're saying but I just get encapsulated by what your performance is and stuff like that so do you get some nice feedback from people after gigs I do yeah that's that's really nice and I think that's that's something that I wanted to do because it's it's something that's really important and um, it doesn't mean just because you don't understand the language or don't know the language it doesn't mean you can't engage with it and I think that's important generally for, for Welsh music because there, there aren't that many of us doing Welsh music um, there is but not where you get mixed in with the English language acts and I think it's moving forward but definitely it's definitely happening more like today um, and it's not a big deal that like a Welsh act will play next to because before I think um, the Welsh acts used to have a stage that'd be like a Welsh language stage but I'm yeah. really pleased that like we're getting mixed in with everyone else <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. It's really nice and it works really nicely and especially soon. What, is it, what does it mean to you to get on a belt bill at soon? Was it good? Yeah, it's really great. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, well, it's been going for 10 years. Yeah. Um, I've played a few times in different bands um, and I suppose uh, the bands I've played with have been at different uh, stages of their career. So it's really nice as like a new act, I suppose I am now, um, to play alongside established acts. That's really nice. And I think that's great for a festival to be doing that, especially in Cardiff. Yes, so. Have you had a musical highlight over the over 2016 that's really stood out to you as a musician? Um, um, for me personally or for in, in soon? Um, just for you personally. Um, I think Green Man was quite a big deal because I've yes. been there a few times and I always, I'm, I'm terrible, I get, if I don't play somewhere I get like stage envy. So like I do watch bands so I'm like, yeah. I want to be on the stage. Yeah. But <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> but it was really nice to be able to play. Like it was lovely and the people backstage were lovely and the bands before and after were great as well so and it's always a lovely atmosphere I just don't like the rain no it's just so confusing because like it rains and you put your poncho on then it doesn't and it's confusing but other than that it's great is there any artist that you've kind of watched live before and thought oh I really like what they do I'd love to kind of incorporate that into my set um I suppose there's quite a few I mean the obvious one technically would be Grimes because I think um I don't think if I hadn't seen her I would have the confidence to be like oh so you don't need a whole band to do that that's okay um and so that that's really great I think she's done a lot to like um encourage girls to you know get up on the stage by themselves um but otherwise I suppose just growing up like you know Janet Jackson um so nothing like her but I'd love to be um and obviously Britney Spears um like Destiny's Child Spice Girls like all of that stuff growing up um and then I suppose listening to, to music now, I've been listening to, um, I've been listening to, I'm listening to Philip Glass at the moment, which is not new, but some of them are, some of the tunes are newer, um, I suppose, Jean-Michel Jarre as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know, just a mix really, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what advice would you give to a female artist that might look at you and think, oh, I'd love to do what she's doing, but I don't have the confidence to get up and do it? Oh, just do it, honestly. Um, like I... I the only reason I'm doing it is because um, I want I want other girls to see it and be like, well, if she can do it, I can do it. Because I'm really not that technical. It took me quite a while to work the machines <laughs> out. And actually, like... Luckily, it looks more complicated than it is, yes. so hopefully I look really busy but, um, <laughs> when I'm pressing the button. But it's not, it's not that difficult. If you're really determined, it's fine. I think that's what I was thinking. I was like, I really want to hear more Welsh language pop music in the style that I really enjoy. And I thought, well, I'll have to do it myself because 
there isn't currently someone doing the, the kind of pop that I like, so I had to work all this out and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's history now. It's all working out for you. It's really good. Yeah. So, do you have any more music on the way that we can expect in the coming months? Um, yeah, I'm still like plowing away on my EP, um, but still, I'm working on an album as well at home, just trying to build up sounds and just working out like how things work and how sound works. It's it's quite new to me, the production side, because I've written songs for quite a while, because I've been in bands for a while. But um, it's just having the confidence and actually, like, what's the worst that can happen if it's no good? I mean, I'll just try harder and do it better Absolutely. and you <laughs> so, love what you do and you encapsulate you. an audience so that's great and yeah. I really enjoyed it today and the session thank was beautiful you. as well thank you so much for doing that and yeah. uh, best of luck with the future as well it sounds like really exciting so I'm joined with Phil Studies who have just come off at O'Neill's how did it go guys did you enjoy the set yeah it was a fun time it was nice it's nice to be here yeah it's just being in Cardiff never been here before so it's nice change of scenery and you guys are from Nottingham as well so is it a nice nice play a different scene a bit of a Welsh scene I mean, yeah, we've not had a chance to um, really experience anything yet, so I guess tonight is the time to, to really take the Welsh scene in. But, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're looking forward to it. It should be fun. Have you heard of Soon Festival before, before you came to Cardiff? Did you hear of it, or is it something new that you completely just heard of because you got booked for it? I guess we didn't hadn't heard of it. No, like, I, I uh, hadn't, not me personally, but it seems like... I looked at the uh, lineup for last year, and it just seems like a lot of like kind of small bands that were bubbling over last year like really kicked off this year so yeah. I think it's a good opportunity for sure definitely and you've been gigging a lot as well you were in Bristol recently and you know how has that all gone for you it's been yeah it's been great so far it's been like, this is our first headline tour yeah. so it's been a whole bunch of fun like I think the best show so far has been been Newcastle it was just like unprecedentedly yeah. shout out to Newcastle for yeah sure. <laughs> the Clooney too yeah great venue. <laughs> what has been a musical highlight over 2016 for you guys have you got one in particular that's really stood out to you oh wow uh, I guess maybe <laughs> Should we maybe the Newcastle show? I don't know. For us, at least Newcastle. on a band on a band level, yeah. That Newcastle show is great because we because it's probably like the best show we've played outside of Nottingham. Yeah. Like we we've never done uh, a headline tour obviously before, so to like headline a show in another city and it go as well as that show did. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's music in general. Uh, Boy. We all we all did Glasgow this year. That was a fun Fantastic. time. We didn't play. We went. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it was that's always um, always like the best the best musical experience you can have. I reckon. Favorite place in the world. Yeah. Indeed. Are there any bands on the soon lineup that you're going to go and check out, or any bands that you've seen today that you've really enjoyed? We we missed our good buds April Towers, didn't we? Yeah. They were on earlier, and we uh, were in the car. So um, shout outs to April Towers. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, no, we I don't know. I think we're just gonna. Um, Go forth into the night and see what happens. Stealing sheep, maybe. Yeah. Stealing yeah. sheep. Yeah, yeah stealing sheep. And I, I want to check out the um, the secret thing, the secret uh, little slot. Yes. Yeah. Are those good usually? I don't know. Normally, good? yes. It's normally sort of a local artist, but we've got some really cool music in Wales, so you should definitely Ooh, go check that sweet. out. Yeah, I'm expecting no. the I'm expecting Manic Street Preachers. Stereo Phonics, Manic Street, either one. <laughs> <they're together than laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. So, have you got anything new coming out over the next year? Any gigs on the way? I think we're we're settling up this tour at the at the start of November in a, a big hometown show in Nottingham, and then going to go away and write a load of new sounds and yeah. and so that's exciting, I guess. But as far as new stuff goes, next year probably now. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Watch the space. And where can people catch Field Studies and follow more of you guys? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're on all of yeah. those. It's usually either Field Studies or Field Studies Band Field slash studies. Field Studies Band. Very nice, I like That's that. That's where you find us. And finally, because you are in Wales, and I have done something kind of naughty, so um, whether you guys will be okay. So I basically put some oh, Nottingham yeah. phrases yes. into Welsh for you. Would you guys like to give it a go and have a little have a little say of them? Mm, so um, the oh, first yeah. one is A Up Me Duck. Go on, Castor, have a go. You're the, you're the multi-linguist out of all of us, so... Shuri Shuaran. Oh! That was nice. I think that was all right. I think that was good. I think that was good. And the next one is, can I have a bacon cob? <laughs> go on, Andy, it's yours now. What? Because a, a W is a, is a vowel here, right? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, there so we go. It's like, it's, it's, an like, ooh. it's like two words. Okay. How about... Gay cob bacoon os gwelch in da. Ah, that was I, got the, I got the little in there. <laughs> the it's very good. And the final, a, final one is. <laughs> You're being Mardi. Come on, Charlie. I think you should feel this boy. Go on, give it a go. Oh, God. 
has an apostrophe in there. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Y-N, what does that sound like? Yin. 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 Madi. Yay! There we go, guys. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Well, enjoy the rest of your night. And if you want to keep that for just general banter later, then you're more than welcome to. Been a weird Welsh there for you. Keep it forever. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go.